Now I'm going to talk about how to operate the internal menu system of the Leica M9. On the back of the Leica M9, you'll find a number of different buttons that control the menu operation. The first button, the menu button. Pressing brings you to the camera's main menu. To navigate, turn the scroll wheel or use the arrows. To make a selection, click the set button. The first option we have is lens detection. When using a Leica lens that's 6-bit coded, the camera will automatically detect what lens is being used and store it in the metadata. If your lens is not coded, you can select it manually. And additionally, if you don't want to have the lens detection, you can turn it off. The next option, Save User Profile, allows you to save up to four different user profiles to the camera's internal memory, so you can quickly activate them later. Advanced controls the camera's advanced. Standard, press the shutter, the camera will fire. In Soft, a half press of the shutter will fire the camera. In Discrete, when you press the shutter, the camera will not advance to the next frame until the shutter is released. This is great when you want to be extra quiet after you take a shot. Discrete plus soft combines the half press release of the soft release with the quick discreteness of discrete mode. Self timer allows you to change 2 seconds or 12 seconds for the self timer. Additionally, you can turn the self timer off, so if you accidentally move the power dial to the self timer position, it still will not activate the self timer. Auto ISO controls the slowest shutter speed and the maximum ISO used when in Auto ISO. We like to set the slowest speed to 125th and the max ISO to 1250. Sharpening, color, and contrast are only going to apply to in-camera JPEGs. So if I have the camera set to DNG only, as I do here, these options will be grayed out. Bracketing setup allows you to change auto bracketing on the camera. Great for shooting HDR. Click Set and you have access to the number of exposures, the sequence which they will be shot, whether the normal shot, then over, then under, or under, normal, and over. Also, the increments in between shots from half a stop up to two stops. To change your exposure compensation by default is activated through the Set menu, which we'll show you soon. To change that, click Set. You can now change exposure compensation using the setting ring or holding the Release button halfway and turning the setting ring. Monitor brightness adjusts the brightness of the camera's LCD, as seen here. Histogram, you have three options. One, you have a standard histogram. Two, your color RGB histogram. And three, set up your clipping. If you want clipping warnings, you can have overexposure clipping warnings or over and underexposure clipping warnings. Folder management allows you to create a new folder on the memory card. You can select up to five different characters to change your folder name. Auto review tells the camera how long to display the recently shot image. I can change my duration from off all the way to permanent. In this option, if I hold down the shutter release, the image will display. As soon, as soon as the shutter is released, the image will disappear. You can also set whether you want a histogram to appear when the camera does auto review. Auto power off will put the camera to sleep after a designated amount of time. To wake the camera up, simply half press the shutter. Flash sync tells the camera whether to sync the flash with the first curtain or the second curtain. Auto slow sync, when using aperture priority mode with a flash, will tell the camera the slowest shutter speed it wants to use automatically with the flash. This is a rarely used option. Color management, again grayed out here because we're shooting only DNGs, gives you the ability to apply an sRGB or Adobe RGB profile to your JPEGs. The Leica M9 also gives you the option to shoot a compressed DNG, which is about half the size of an uncompressed DNG. This is great when you're running low on card space. Reset will reset the camera's functions to factory default settings. Sensor cleaning opens the shutter and exposes the sensor. If you need to clean dust off of it with something like a blower bulb, this is how you do it. Date and time allows you to hit the camera's date and time. You can use standard date formats or a variety of options to choose from. Acoustic signal, the camera will beep when the acoustic signal is turned on, when a key is clicked, or when the memory card is full. The M9 also offers a wide variety of languages to choose from. USB connection, for older computers, set it to mass storage so that if the camera is plugged in via the USB cord, you can read files off the camera. By default, keep it on PTP. To format your memory card, click Set, select Yes. You can also overwrite to really get rid of everything that's on there, but be warned, this could take a while. And the last option, Firmware. This allows you to see the current firmware version that's on the camera. Another menu we have is the Set menu. By pressing the Set button, it brings me to several options, some which are in the main menu and some which are not. Here is how I set my white balance, my compression, do I want DNG, a JPEG, or both. When shooting JPEGs, you can actually change the resolution from the default 18 megapixels all the way down to 1 megapixel. 
Remember, this only applies to the JPEG files. Exposure compensation, if you set the exposure compensation to change from this menu, you can change it here in one third stop increments. Exposure bracketing, if you've activated bracketing in the menu, here is where you turn it on. If you've saved user profiles onto the camera, hit Set User Profile to activate your various profiles. In the Info button, it gives you the camera status of battery, SD card, how many images are remaining, my current shutter speed, and the lens I'm currently using based on that 6-bit coding option in the Auto Detect setting we changed earlier. If I press ISO, I can see my various options for ISO. Keep in mind you have to press and hold this button to change your ISO. Once you've made your selection, simply let go, and the camera is set. To review an image, press the Play button. When reviewing an image, you can delete by pressing Delete, select Single or All. To get out, simply press Delete again. Pressing the Info button gives me a histogram, any exposure compensation that was set, resolution, lens, and some other information like the file name and the date and time that the file was shot. To get out of the Info display mode, press Info. To zoom in an image on the Leica M9, simply turn the scroll wheel to the right to zoom in, like so. Use the arrow keys to navigate. To zoom out, turn the scroll wheel the other way, and you can zoom out. If you, if you choose to zoom beyond, you'll get an index view of all the shots that are currently on the cart. To navigate, use the left and right arrow keys. That is the basic menu operation of the Leica M9.